So, uh, dear Kamala Hassan, Paul Sakarya, Jay Mohan, welcome to KLF. Uh, yeah, audible. So, welcome to this session uh, in Kerala Literature Festival 2023. So, Hello, audible. Yeah. So, uh, so welcome to Kerala Literature Festival, uh, Kamla Hassan, Jain Kamla Hassan. <laughs> so I think uh, we'll, without much ado, without wasting our time, we'll start our session. Uh, so let us start with the actor, superstar, Kamla Hassan, who is, you know, you are called the Ullag you know. So you let us, let us, you know, uh, talk about your journey as an actor and also uh, through, we have been in cinema for the last 60 years almost. More than 60 years, six decades, and you have traveled through Tamil cinema, Indian cinema, and also as a star and actor. So, how do you look at the whole journey? Hello, everybody. A small correction I've been in uh, the movies for the past 63 years. And uh, I think the first Ten years, I didn't fully understand the uh, purport or the weight of what I was doing. For me, it was like a theme park. I was enjoying it. It's only after ten that I realized what I had gotten myself into. And uh, so much so that it affected my schooling. I was no more interested in going to the school. And uh, my life changed. Thanks to cinema, I still am a movie buff. Uh, very few people can say that of their profession. I'm still a fan of cinema and I, I see it leaping, uh, I mean leaps and bounds. And I see technology changing, I'm happy to be part of that moment. That's all. It's a, it looks, 63 looks like a big number, but it's a short time in the age of cinema. And uh, Indian cinema is about 100 years, and I've lived with it for 63 years. Yeah. Sakre, how do you look at uh, Kamala Hassan as an actor? How do you look at him as an actor, and how do you follow him? <clears throat> Indian <laughs> Samohotile, Anidigalod, Pradirik in the Manishana Urupakse, Adinda Bhagamai Tairikam, Adeham, Uru Rashia party, Undakunda Nepeti, Alo Ichadum, Undakiadum, Athalam, Namukini Varanitik in the Guiding Lada. But as of now, Namukka in Kamala Hasanapoluru, Victia in the Uru Sahiti also within the Bhagamaita, Namukilevicha, the Manohera Maitolu Kairimana, Apainiki. Where a good Lundum Paranilla, Adathan, Namla Lavrida, and Beril, Adathan, Swaga, and Jiga, and the Matrave, any other. Hello, Kamal Nauru, Ukimane, Kelvi, Keklan, Vikre. Inge Nereberke, Tiria Merkla, you are a writer, poet, and a star. Or writer, script writer, novelist, Mari or script writer could ever or a star in the image of the Yenna Moran Badir, Aladina Modalir, or writer, or star in the Radial at the Kadula, Yenna Moran Badir, Navana Malayalatil Paraya, Kamal Tamil or Pradana Pata, Edithar and Gudian, Pradana Pata, Tirakadal Edialan, or Edithgaran. Or a star in the Neleke, Yendana, Randin Day, Damilula, or Bendam, Alengil, Pair Bard in Anjan Choichi. 
എ റൈറ്റർ ആൻഡ് എ സ്റ്റാർ രണ്ടും എണ്ണയും തണ്ണീരും പോലെയാണ് ഇറ്റ്സ് ലൈക്ക് വാട്ടർ ആൻഡ് ഓയിൽ ഡസൻ മിക്സ് വെരി വെൽ ബട്ട് യു ക്യാൻ ഇഫ് യു കുക്ക് ഇറ്റ് ഹാർഡ് ഇൻ ഓഫ് ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ഗെറ്റ് ഐ എം ദാറ്റ് കുക്ക്ഡ് വെർഷൻ ഓഫ് ഇറ്റ് ഐ എം എ സ്റ്റാർ ഹൂ ഇസ് എ ഫാൻ ഓഫ് പോൾ സക്കാരിയ സാഹബ് ആൻഡ് ജയമോഹൻ സാഹബ് they are stars in my eyes that's how my journey as a writer started and stardom is something that was granted to me but i worked hard to be among these people i read i tried writing and it's a everyday thing it is like your belly fat you have to work on it every day and i see these people doing it almost on a daily basis i envy them and uh, being a star and a writer is a very difficult balancing act and fortunately to keep that balance that equilibrium i turned into a producer that's the only way to keep from teetering to one end or the other and also both of them are writers and you know you also written script so writing as literature as they practice and you know the way in which you write a cinema film script is totally different then you you have to actually image it so this journey from word to image is a very complex one can you because you have dealt with all these aspects writing for a film is very different it it writers are like van gogh and paul gauguin they can sit alone and do it and see it published with very few interventions like a editor of a or a publisher but for a film writer it absolutely a democratic process so many people are involved there is a director there is a producer there is a financial consideration if you want to lose that you can become an art film maker but then you're losing out on a larger audience so this is a very difficult and to write for cinema i always say in our screenplay workshop if shakespeare were to come now he had to take a a course a workshop to write for films nothing fantastic it's not rocket science but still it is like how you change from analogous phone to the digital phone you need some practice somebody has to tutor you which button to press to get the desired result so screenplay writing he is involved in it now he would have either realized it or yet to realize i don't know it it it's a different different kind of writing but it gives you the freedom once you understand it gives you the freedom once you understand the the parameters and you can play within that also one more thing i would like to ask is you have been for the last 50 years at least you have been playing playing the role of the hero in many films in many languages all over india in that sense you're a pan indian actor no? you act in all the south indian languages hindi and all and also if i look at it like many of the you have done dark characters you have done tragic characters you have done romantic hero all kinds of you know roles of hero if you look at the contemporary cinema there is a kind of you know and all these roles as i said uh, had some tragic element to it also had some kind of ethical dimension to it you know, the hero the journey of the hero or what now what is happening is you find more and more this toxic masculinity toxic masculinity as hero you know heroes becoming the male heroes the male heroes becoming you know all these embodiments of violence hatred revenge do you think there is a kind of uh, uh, i think this kind of a malady would continue and it's always been so when you had satyajit ray sir making a film you had somebody making films in hollywood which is contrary to him and you had akira kurosawa making seven samurai 
and the same content was made as Magnificent Seven into an absolutely commercial proposition in uh, America. Saturday Night Fever was versus Mirnalsen. It's not a competition at all. It's another kind of community. It's another living space. So these things will continue. Uh, there'll be bad films and the audience will have to climb that ladder to come to intellectual films. So those cinemas are necessary. They are the kindergarten of cinema. So they will coexist in that sense. They will be there. Yeah. And what do you, how do you look at this, the, the, the emergence of uh, the, the South Indian cinema? You know? the recently, you have huge South Indian cinemas making it big. It's long overdue. It's happening now. But they have understood the commerce of it now. But I, I have always found Bengal and Kerala and sometimes Karnataka like a flash in the pan. <laughs> producing some great international quality films. I'm not talking about today's film for which I got the applause. I'm talking about the past, much before some of them were born. <laughs> so I'm talking about those films. They were trendsetters. My life changed as a filmmaker and a writer because of a film called Nirmalyam. Nirmalyam. And M.T. Vasudevan, it's a directorial. So, I, I trained in Kerala. In, so, for me, it's like coming back home and I'm not talking to an audience. I'm talking about my experience. But you didn't, uh, you were very active in Malayalam industry in the 70s and 80s but not after that. Is it that uh, because Malayalam film industry couldn't afford you? The honest answer is money. <laughs> Simply, I was drawn towards money. It was lucrative to go to North India. My remuneration was multifold. I was tempted, but I came back and uh, did what I could. But I didn't want to add my luggage to the budget of a Malayalam film. So the only way I think it will be practical for me to do a Malayalam film would be to make a double version. Uh, also, this is a question to all the three okay. of you, like as uh, you know, Kalin writers who are read all over the world and in not just Malayalam or you know, J. Mohan and Sakriya are you know, being translated, read elsewhere all over the world. And you have also journeyed through the post-independence post India history. And you know, both Kamala Hassan Sakari and Jay Mohan have been engaging with social issues in many ways. So how do you look through your career, the last 50 years, 60 years of writing and filmmaking, how do you look at the change of transformation, the idea of India as a multicultural, plural, democratic society? Uh, Jay Mohan, you can start. Uh, my idea of India is not a contemporary one. I have an ancient India in my mind, which is timeless, which is everlasting one. And I am writing towards it, aiming a reader who have a timeless element in his mind. Thank you. Yeah, in Adakiana 
ഈ ഇന്ത്യയിലാണ് ഞാൻ ജനിച്ചു വളർന്നത് അല്ലാതെ ഇന്ത്യയിൽ ഒരു മതമേ ഉള്ളൂ ഒരു ഭാഷയേ ഉള്ളൂ ഒരു വർഗമേ ഉള്ളൂ എന്തു പറയുന്ന ഒരു ഇന്ത്യ എനിക്ക് സങ്കല്പിക്കാൻ പോലും സാധ്യമല്ല ഒരു കാരണവശാൽ ഒരു കാരണവശാൽ അപ്പം അതാണ് എൻ്റെ ഇന്ത്യ അങ്ങനത്തെ ഒരു ഇന്ത്യ ഉണ്ടാകാതിരിക്കട്ടെ ഒരിക്കലും എന്നാണ് എൻ്റെ ആശയം ഇങ്ങനെ ഒരാൾ പറയുമ്പോൾ കൈയടിക്കുന്ന ഈ ഇന്ത്യ ആണ് എൻ്റെ ഇന്ത്യ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ദ ഇന്ത്യ ഹി വാസ് ടോക്കിംഗ് അബൌട്ട് ആൻഡ് ദിസ് ഈസ് എ കോൺസെപ്റ്റ് ഇറ്റ് വാസ് നോട്ട് ദെയർ ഹൺഡ്രഡ് ഇയേഴ്സ് ബിഫോർ വി സ്റ്റിച്ച് ഇറ്റ് ടുഗെദർ നോട്ട് ഇവൻ ഫിഫ്റ്റി ഇയേഴ്സ് ഗോ വി വി വെർ കോയാഗുലേറ്റിംഗ് ഇൻ ടു എ കൺട്രി ആൻഡ് എ സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ആൻഡ് വി ആർ സ്റ്റിൽ വി ഹാവ് വി ഹാവ് റെസിഡ്യൂവൽ മെമ്മറീസ് ഓഫ് the monarchy and the princely state we are yet to practice democracy to the fu- to its full extent and that is the india i'd like to see monoculture is not good in agriculture politics or in writing in any field monoculture is bad it the, the variety that india offers you is its uniqueness you cannot lose it that plurality is what i think india is and i think i have inculcated this thought to my next generation so it's going to take a long time to kill it you have to kill it it will live on it cannot be simply convinced into changing its mind it has to be killed genocide is the only way to make secular india into a monocultural india and we will not allow it that's my idea of india i used to be a angry young man now i'm an angry old man but <laughs> india still remains young in my mind and will remain so in your mind ചക്കരിയുടെ നാദ്യം ഞാൻ കമലിനെ കാണുന്നത് ഒരു ഇരുപത് കൊല്ലത്തിന് മുമ്പ് ആദ്യമായിട്ട് കാണുമ്പോൾ ആദ്യമായിട്ട് കമൽ ഞാൻ സംസാരിച്ചത് സക്കരിയെ പറ്റിയാണ് ഈ കമൽ സക്കരയുടെ ഒരു വല്ല വാരാധകനാണ് വായനക്കാരനാണ് സക്കരയും ഓ വി വിജയനെയും പറ്റി നാം പേസണോന്ന് എനിക്കറിയാം ഇപ്പോൾ സക്കരയോട് എനിക്കൊരു ചോദിക്കാനുള്ളത് വൺ ഓഫ് യുവർ സ്റ്റോറി ഈസ് മെയ്ഡ് ഇൻ ടു യുവർ ഫിലിം സോ what's the difference of languages of expression in film and uh, creative writing creative writing le endana vyathyasa ullad alle endana loose aagunnad personally i don't oru malayala malayalathi parnja avillo ee nammude oru kadhayo novelo cinemayile kaakumbom വാസ്തവത്തിൽ ഒന്നും നഷ്ടപ്പെടുന്നില്ല ഇതിൻ്റെ മറ്റൊരു രൂപമാണ് അതെന്ന് മാത്രമേ ഞാൻ പറയുന്നുള്ളൂ അതല്ലാതെ ഞാൻ എഴുതിയ പടി ഞാൻ എഴുതിയ പടി ഒരു സിനിമ ഉണ്ടാക്കാൻ സാധ്യമല്ല സിനിമയിലേക്കൊരു കമൽ ആദ്യം പറഞ്ഞതുപോലെ ഒരു ടീം വർക്കാണ് അതിലെന്തെല്ലാം ടെക്നോളജിക്കൽ ആൻഡ് അതർ ഒത്തിരി കാര്യങ്ങൾ വന്ന് ചേരാനുണ്ട് അപ്പം എൻ്റെ ഭാഷയെ അങ്ങനെ തന്നെ സിനിമയിലേക്ക് പകർത്താനോ എൻ്റെ സീരീസ് ഓഫ് അതിനകത്തെ ഇവൻറ്റ് the the way events happen a in a linear order la adu or cinema kaanikkano onnum pattilla appo adagonde jemon enikku thonittullathu ende cinema ende novel appadi pagartha ennu parayna impossible aanu adu cinema aa samvidhayagandeyum adil abhinayikkunavareyum pradibagal anusarichu cinema adinte thanne roopam seekarikkum njan ഇതിനെ ഒരു പാരലൽ ഒരു സമാന്തര രൂപമായിട്ട് കാണുക എന്നുള്ളതാണ് എൻ്റെ ചുമതല എന്നാണ് ഞാൻ കരുതുന്നത് പിന്നെ അതിലേക്ക് വിഷം ചേർക്കുവോ മറ്റോ ചെയ്യും വിഷം ചേർത്തെങ്കിലേ എനിക്കുള്ളൂ കമ്മ്യൂണൽ വിഷം അല്ലെങ്കിൽ അങ്ങനെയൊക്കെ ചേർത്ത് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ഐ വിൽ ബി വെരി അപ്സെറ്റ് അത് ഉണ്ടാവില്ല അങ്ങനെയുള്ളവരുമായിട്ട് നമ്മൾ ഡീൽ ചെയ്യില്ല അപ്പം ഐ സി സിനിമ ആസ് ആൻ ഇൻഡിപെൻഡൻറ്റ് ഫീൽഡ് ഓഫ് ക്രിയേറ്റിവിറ്റി ആൻഡ് ലിറ്ററേച്ചർ ആസ് അനദർ ഫീൽഡ് ഓഫ് ക്രിയേറ്റിവിറ്റി Uh, I consider your best movie is Hey Ram. And uh, for the past five or six years, 
in Tamil, this is considered one of the major classic of Tamil. But at that time, it was a commercial failure, I think. Yeah, what I think, what's the problem? You're communicating your tribute to Gandhi with uh, Tamil masses. <coughs> Let me talk first as the producer of the film. I made money out of here. <laughs> great, great. But I don't know what the distributors wanted. They wanted a film very similar in collection to a commercial film which it did not match up to. And there is another reason why Aram didn't achieve its full potential. That is, I didn't explain history to my audience. I realized it toward the end of the post-production, uh, toward post-production when a very young man of 22 or 23 who came, is a technician, he saw the whole film for technical reasons, and he said, oh, Godze is an Indian. I thought he was a foreigner. For me, my fear of Hiram started doing commercially well, <laughs> not doing well, started then, because I had not explained history to them. What were highlights for me, where I thought people will raise their eyebrows and smile, they don't know about that history. They don't know, they only have seen Gandhiji on rupee note in sc boring school lessons and uh, other congressmen talking about him almost, almost in worshipping tone. So all of it made him into a boring icon. So I did not take it properly, I didn't present it. I, I saw another film, uh, I think it was Alexander, made by Martin, Martin Scorsese. He had made a film for National Geographic so that people of North America will understand who Alexander was. First you had to explain the history so that they could explain the film. I made the mistake of not doing that. That should have been part of the promotion of Hiram. Now, the audience are doing it for me. They are promoting era much after its run in the box office. Yeah. yeah, I think it is also a very important film in the sense, like, you know, it is the only film in Indian film history, I would say, which actually portrays Savarkar in the true light. So now it's a period of idolizing him and all that. So I think it is also, you, as you said in your interview with Rahul Gandhi, that is a kind of apology to Gandhi, you know, that you are made in your life, you know, like... No, we'll have to first understand the difference between these two Gandhis. That's another politics we will not get into. But the fact remains that the name Gandhi has a respect. That comes from one source, the fountainhead called Mr. Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi. And thank you, thank you. And he has reached to that generation may not be through me, maybe their own discovery. And I, I, I don't have to thank anyone because it's a process, it will happen. And uh, the, the shortest cut seems to be interesting, but Gandhiji took the longest route. Grueling, long walk. It's still happening. It's continued by Bharat Jodo Yatra. For me, it is not a partisan political shade or leaning to it. It is for India. As a matter of fact, in my editorial in Hindu, I had written that if some other government had been there, if I had this much sense about politics in the 70s and there was emergency, I would have walked the streets of Delhi for that. So please do not mistake it to be my leaning towards a party. It's my leaning towards a united India. I have to ask you something. Uh, 
ഞാനൊരു എഴുത്തുകാരൻ എന്നുള്ള നിലയ്ക്കുള്ള ഒരു ചോദ്യമോ അത് കാരണം എനിക്ക് മനസ്സിലാകാത്ത ഒരു കാര്യമോ കമലിനെ ഞാനൊരു മനുഷ്യൻ എന്നുള്ള നിലയ്ക്ക് ബഹുമാനിക്കുകയും സ്നേഹിക്കുകയും ഒരു നടൻ എന്നുള്ള നിലയ്ക്ക് ആരാധിക്കുകയും ചെയ്യുന്നു എന്നുള്ളതാണ് സത്യം അതുകൊണ്ട് ഞാൻ ചോദിക്കുകയാണ് അപ്പോൾ ഞാനൊരു സാധാരണ മനുഷ്യനാണ് ഞാൻ എഴുതാനിരിക്കുമ്പം കമ്പ്യൂട്ടറിൻ്റെ മുമ്പിൽ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ പേനയും കള്ളാത്ത എഴുതാനിരിക്കുമ്പോൾ ആ കുറച്ച് സമയത്തേക്ക് ഞാൻ വേറൊരു ചിന്തിക്കുന്ന എൻ്റെ ഭാവനയോ തലച്ചോറോ ബുദ്ധിയോ ഏതാണ്ടല്ല അവിടെ പ്രവർത്തിക്കും അപ്പം എനിക്ക് കമലിനെ എൻ്റെ പല എത്രയോ ചിത്രങ്ങൾ കണ്ടിട്ടുള്ള ഒരാളെന്നുള്ള നിലയ്ക്ക് അത്ഭുതകരമായ രൂപപരിണാമങ്ങളാണ് ഏത് മേക്കപ്പ് കൊണ്ടുള്ളതല്ല ആള് ബോഡി ലാംഗ്വേജ് മുഴുവൻ മുഴുവൻ സംഭവം മാറുകയാണ് അപ്പം എങ്ങനെയാണ് കമൽ ഹാസൻ എന്ന് പറയുന്ന ഒരു മനുഷ്യൻ ഒരു വ്യക്തി മറ്റൊരാളായി ഈ രൂപാന്തരം നേടുന്നതെന്നുള്ളത് അത് രഹസ്യമാണെങ്കിൽ പറയണ്ട രഹസ്യമല്ലെങ്കിൽ പറയണ്ട എങ്ങനെയാണ് ഹൗ ഡു യു ട്രാൻസ്ഫോം യുവർ സെൽഫ് യു ആർ ഇൻ ടു ഇൻ ടു സംബഡി it may not be a precise transformation but when i say i have a dubious distinction of being an illiterate in about four languages but i understand all of them malayalam is a language where i know about its stories i've heard it in malayalam not read it when i narrate the story of yesu kada i play the centurion who just killed children for the sake of the king and the way i understand the story by the time i put down that story there's another story he has written called noor narkaligal when i put down that story i am angry i am guilty that comes from the writing the actor takes from the bowl feed from the bowl called writing so it all starts with the word be it a religion or a cinema it all starts from the word and i still talk about that yesu kadagal that story i think the first time when we met we spoke about that the guilt of that centurion is there in me he who have passed it on to me likewise the murder of gandhi's guilt is on me i was born in 1954 but i feel that guilt that that sort of and that is how i am able to transform i i understand that is called empathy yeah okay adey the malayalathil parayam kamal hasnodu ulla sambhashanathil ippo sakariya parnjadu pole പഴയ ഓർമ്മകൾ കമൽ പറയുമ്പോൾ എം ജി സോമൻ കമലിൻ്റെ ശരീരത്തിൽ വന്നിട്ട് പോകും തെക്കുറിച്ചി സുകുമാരൻ നായർ വന്നിട്ട് പോകും അത് സാധാരണ കവിയൂർ പൊന്നമ്മയും വന്നിട്ട് പോകാറുണ്ട് അതാണ് ആക്ടറുടെ ഒരു സ്വഭാവം എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് നാച്ചുറലി ഹീസ് എൻ ആക്ടർ വൈൽ ഹീസ് ടോക്കിംഗ് ഈവൻ ഡിസ്കസിംഗ് സോ ദ മേജർ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ഈസ് കമൽ നൗ യു ആർ ആക്ടിംഗ് ഇന്ത്യൻ ടു ആൻഡ് യു ആർ പ്രൊണൗൺസിംഗ് and you are you are expressing and pronouncing my dialogues thank you so the first question is you are a gandhian you have a great respect on gandhi but indian 2 is a movie even india like indian 1 it is glorifying netaji subhash chandra bose and violence how you are dealing with both these ideas once again the core factor is fame and money let me tell you an actor's ideology need not be reflected in all the characters he plays i'm not a smuggler but i played velu naikar in a film i don't have a god but i played rangaraja nambi in the sautaram likewise i don't believe in fascism nor in vigilantism yet i did indian when the director asked me once why did you say in an interview that vigilantism 
is a pedestrian dream it will never be realized it's true i still believe in it i am doing indian too and i still believe vigilantism is not the way to justice i truly believe in that what why are you doing that film you will see the variety it's a buffet that i'm offering you see heram see indian too choose the film you like and choose the path you want to take uh, one more question that i would like to ask is like there is in south india especially in tamil you know telugu and all that there is this film stars becoming politicians and leaders like mgr uh, then you have ntr and all that so you are also you know into in a way into politics and and is it a continuation of their legacy or is it do you think it is a need of your time to actually act see when i wanted to become an actor i always disliked the idea when people said do you want to become an actor like him so and so or so and so i want to become an actor like kamalhasan when i had the clarity to say that about acting politics is an altogether different game i am not come into politics because i admired those gentlemen i came into politics because i was angry i came into politics because i thought i must come into politics i must have my effect on politics because before it has its ill effect on me kamal there is a popular idea that while fascism erupts in any country fascism erupts in any country the first victims are great entertainers then the second victims are the politicians and the ideologists generally fascism hunts only entertainers primet what do you think about it they are great whipping boys entertainers and stars once you bring put them down on their knee it's a great example to show to the politician i mean to the populace tell them see this is what will happen i'll make you kneel if you don't heal when i say heal dog you have to heal take one or two questions from the audience one or two short questions and yeah one or two actually we have some 10 minutes left hello vanakam sir sir ungakitta vaazhkile edavadhu vaati pesa mudinjana adukku dhaan tamil kattukitta na or malayali da adukku unga politics unga ideas ella vandu neraya padathila neenga ப்ரொடியூஸ் பண்ணியிருக்க லைக் ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் இந்த அன்பே சிவத்தில் வந்து அன்பே சிவத்தில் வந்து இந்த ஏத்திசம் அந்த மாதிரி ஐடியாஸ் இருக்கு இல்லை மலையாளத்தை பறையா மனசுலாவும் சார் சாரோட ஐடியாஸ் பலப்பொழுதும் பல மூவிஸிலும் சார் മുന്നോട്ട് കൊണ്ടു വന്നിട്ടുണ്ട് അപ്പം ആദ്യം തന്നെ ഒരു ചെറിയൊരു കാര്യം പറയാനുള്ള സാറിന് ഇന്ന് ഇവിടെ കിട്ടിയ കൈയടി വിക്രം ടു വിക്രം കൊണ്ട് മാത്രം അതെന്ന് എനിക്ക് തോന്നുന്നില്ല സാറിൻ്റെ പഴയ എയ്റ്റീസ് സെവൻറ്റീസ് നയൻറ്റീസിലെ എല്ലാം പാടം കണ്ട് ഒത്തിരി ആൾക്കാർ ഇവിടെ ഉണ്ടെന്നാണ് ഞാൻ വിശ്വസിക്കുന്നത് സോ മൈ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ഈസ് സാറൊരു റൈറ്ററാണ് ആക്ടറാണ് ഡയറക്ടറാണ് അങ്ങനെ ചെയ്യാത്ത സിനിമയുമായിട്ട് ബന്ധപ്പെട്ട ചെയ്യാത്ത വർക്കുകളൊന്നുമില്ല സോ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ജനറേഷൻ കമൽഹാസൻ എന്ന് പറയുന്ന ഒരു വ്യക്തിയെ എങ്ങനെ ലൈക്ക് മെമ്മറൈസ് ചെയ്യണമെന്നാണ് സാർ ആഗ്രഹിക്കുന്നത് ലൈക്ക് ഡോണ്ട് മെമ്മറൈസ് എനിത്തിങ് ഫസ്റ്റ് റൂൾ ഡോണ്ട് മെമ്മറൈസ് if you remember i'll be grateful but but please remember just take the essence of it the rest of the star is forgettable it's forgettable we don't know who wrote parallel lives plutarch who's plutarch doesn't matter but the idea has come down to me they might forget his name they might forget his name also mine but what you have to remember is the best part that touched you that made you act sir so i have a question sir here 
മലയാള സാഹിത്യത്തിലും സാഹിത്യവും അതിലെ മാറ്റങ്ങളൊക്കെ കൃത്യമായി വീക്ഷിക്കുന്ന ഒരാളാണ് സാർ എന്നറിയ ഒരു കാലത്ത് സിനിമയും സാഹിത്യവും തമ്മിൽ നല്ല ബന്ധം ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു അതിൻ്റെ ഫലമായി മലയാളത്തിൽ ചെമ്മീൻ വിധേയം പോലെ ഒരുപാട് സിനിമകൾ ഉണ്ടായിട്ടുണ്ട് പക്ഷെ ഇന്ന് ലിറ്ററേച്ചറും സിനിമയും തമ്മിൽ വലിയ അനന്തരം അനുഭവപ്പെടുന്നില്ല അതേസമയം തമിഴിലും ബോളിവുഡിലൊക്കെ ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ട് ഇപ്പോൾ ജയമോഹൻ സാർ തന്നെ ലാസ്റ്റ് ബന്ധു തണി വന്ന കാട് ഗൗതം വാസ്തുവിനായിട്ട് കൊളാബറേറ്റ് ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ട് ഇവിടെ മലയാളത്തെ ജി ലിജോ ജോസ് പെല്ലശ്ശേരി പോലെ ചെറുകഥകളൊക്കെ പടങ്ങളാക്കി മാറ്റുന്നുണ്ട് നോവലുകൾ അത്തരം ശ്രമങ്ങൾ നടക്കുന്നില്ല മുൻപത്തെ പോലെ ലിറ്ററേച്ചർ വർക്ക്സ് ഒരുപാട് സിനിമകളാകുന്നില്ല അതിന് കാരണം എന്താണ് സാർ കണക്കാക്കുന്നത് കൂടുതൽ നവസാഹിത്യം കൂടുതൽ സിനിമാറ്റിക് ആകുന്നു എന്ന ആക്ഷേപം നിലനിൽക്കുന്നുണ്ട് അതാണോ കാരണം അതോ നവ എഴുത്ത് നിലവാരം കുറയുന്നതുകൊണ്ടോ the other side it looks greener but let me tell you sometimes the grass is greener on a septic tank because what lies underneath makes the grass grow so we have complaints about tamil industry we keep complaining look at malayalam industry how they take from literature you are leading in that don't get don't be worried but don't be satisfied more literary work should come into film kerala apart from bengal <coughs> is one state which has a film society strong film society movement so naturally that ecosystem will happen if at all there is something wrong going on here they are copying tamil and telugu industries if malayalam industry stops copying and aping tamil and malayalam and hindi industry they will be hale and healthy it will happen you have writers here they already have written enough for you to produce it into films thank you sir 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 here sir so you have mostly at times been misunderstood and misread by the audience and the people because you were way ahead of your time but later we have celebrated those wrongs as quoting them as rights even in recency after you penned a heartfelt note to rishabh shetty on kantara's journey to the oscars many have not been quite receptive of it it's hard to argue and win with a mob which has only a mouth and no ears yet you still keep going and you have done the impossible is it just uh, a piece of your mind or is it like the song goes yaar endru purigirada even thee endru therigirada is it the same sir <coughs> sir the audience sometimes have not been quite receptive of the things or the way you are yet you have always been straight forward in your films and in your personal life where do you find the energy for that from you see this will translate to ticket sales probably a little later but this is the beginning and i'll have to keep raising this applause and that keeps me going because money is not permanent neither is applause but it's a little more long lasting because it will be in your memory my money will be partly in the banks partly in my pocket partly will be expended the rest will be taken away by tax hi sir sir here 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 send her here okay 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 uh, so i just have a two small questions one is that uh, now you you have been talking about the pluralism uh, diversity of india pluralism uh, okay now a concept of pan india is being here so uh, do you think that it affects the pluralism of indian film industry like malayalam have its own and tamil have its own and uh, so on and uh, now it's coming to a pan indian cinema where every actors of every kind is coming together and doing something no pan indian doesn't mean you have to change your language the more ethnic you become the more international you become don't ever forget that okay sir one more question a small one uh, why is why is klf one of the biggest film 
I mean, uh, literary festivals. Because you are not aping anybody. It's Kerala style. It's happening in this speech. And one more question about your politics. Uh, do you think that if you uh, if you had a party here in Kerala, you'd have a better chance of becoming uh, more? <laughs> because we, I, I I think so. And that's, uh, a, yeah. that's exactly what he said. Looking at the applause, you can easily become an MP or an MLA here. But Sir. as long as there are people who sell their votes, people like me will find it difficult to win. Anywhere. I'm not blaming Kerala. I'm, I'm talking about Tamil Nadu. Sir. Last question. Yeah. Sir, on your right. Sir, Aslam here. In uh, Tamil film industry, many actors are ready to openly express and discuss their religious and political views. Especially I have seen uh, you and Mr. Prakash Raj mercilessly criticizing uh, religion publicly. But in Kerala, our actors usually usually decides to keep it to themselves. Do you think there's a reason for that? Personal safety. That's the only thing. If you ask me whether I am not worried about personal safety, I am. But there have been certain threats in Tamil Nadu which emboldened me to take on the threat. I did. They threatened to make me insolvent with the might of the government. It didn't happen. I'm living to tell the story. I, I congratulate people like Prakash Raj. I only hope our population increases. But keeping your religion to yourself is a personal choice. It's a great choice. Uh, everybody should follow. Hello, hello, hello. Sir, sir. Uh, sir, my name is Devika Nadal. I have a dream come true moment. 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 And uh, in the show, in the number of Nartilla, the Kerala, Nala, Tamil Nadu, Nala, Podue or Loru, tendency in the Varina, number of Vecti, a screen in the Kanbo. I will an artist I call it. I will a Edu make a ilum or cinema field I call it. Namala, I will Ara the Kinunda. Origena Samuhamota, I will Ara the Kinu, or they were the Pola Ela Kanu. They were thin, they were take on Uber in the Malayale, Admarichi in the Pakshe. Politics like entry in the moment of the crowd of Vibaji Kapitan religion the pale like quality, Jadi the pale like quality, politics, Kritiamaya, Jadi, Mada, Rashtriya, Vibagangal IT, while a crowd of Vibaji Kapitan, number Albuda Thoda Kanan, Kerala Tinakarium, Vibina Mala, number Nerte, Chodetil Parin under Kerala Tilagi, Angel Korsunguri, Angula Maya, Uru Rashtriya, Parisan Kitumena. So, Uru. Actor and the lady, or a politician and the lady, um, and any any or a conflict in a no kick on the lingual in a overcome see and sremic another. See, if I'm worried about that, I should not have come into politics at all. In all these 20, 63 years, they have given me so much. It's time to give back. If I lose half my fan base, that's worth it. The other half, I'm benefiting. That's how democracy works. And I'm willing to work with that. And I'll cut my losses and run to the right side, which is the left side. So to, to come to the uh, come back to cinema, actually, you know, you, you said earlier, like when you wanted to become an actor, you didn't want to become anybody else but yourself. Like, so still after the 60 years in cinema and acting, do you still look at certain actors as you know inspiring, and you go back to them, or do you feel do you find any contemporary actors in India or abroad as inspiring? You still.
there are so many contemporary indian actors who i wish i had been when i was in my 20s excellent talents are there i am only happy they were not there when i was 20 because that would have been very tough competition but another question about wanting to be kamalas and the person especially a child who grew up in cinema wanting to be that is not surprising i am i'm done playing roles i want you to see me that's why i i come to places like this and another question i didn't complete the answer fully people shouldn't mistake me that i come to kerala and talk about left i'm a centrist i will run from left towards uh, from right towards the left but will still keep my centrist views i wanted to tell you that for those aspiring actors directors writers come into cinema it will tell you what to do actors will become directors directors will become actors and writers will become producers directors or remain writers it's up to you but cinema will teach you what you are capable of thank you thank you kamal thank you uh, jay mohan thank you paul sakaria for this wonderful session also thank all the audience for their you know very active uh, participation in questions thank you now the next thing is uh sri kamala hasan will be talking to you about 30 minutes uh on a separate speech actually that's from now till 4:30 there will not be any question and answer because we don't have the time so uh, depending upon his convenience he'll be about 20 25 minutes he'll be separate. that's uh, all you want to reduce i have exhausted some of my speech already but short and succinct is always good especially in a literary festival where they have heard many people uh, talking eloquently about each subject so i'll keep it short 30 is their aspiration 50 15 is what my respiratory system will allow thank you